Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Vucevic is out there with Porzingis. And it's Banton in at the point. And for the Lakers. Jay Crowder out there with Anthony Davis. And it's the dude. Then it's Josh Giddy, And it's Butler in at the three slot. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Here's the dude in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. Giddy, good, and Butler gets the assist. Boy, Giddy, if he becomes a knockdown three-point shooter, you will not be able to guard this guy. Tatum against Butler. Now here's Tatum. The dude grabs the miss. MP with video game numbers. How about the 60, 20, and 10 triple double? An all-time game in league history. MP just doing everything. This guy is a human cheat code. LA's on one or two from long range in the first quarter. Giddy the pass to Crowder. It's good. That's just incredible court awareness by Josh Giddy. Understanding wide open man, I've got to find him. Brown feeling out of it. We play just over a minute here in the first. The Lakers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Vucevic with the block. Well, the reach, the timing, Vucevic using all of that 7-4 wingspan to turn that shot away. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And here is Los Angeles now following Jalen Brown's three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, I mean, he has confidence to drill the three. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Here's Persingas. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And we'll take a chance now to honor the Western Conference Player of the Month, the Dude. While most players can dominate with their scoring ability, he has done it with his passing. No, no doubt that he is the catalyst for this team on offense. And when players are cutting or moving to open space, he has found it. Last game for the Lakers, they picked up the W against Orlando. In the 2016 and 17 draft, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. There's three pointers off the mark. The Celtics have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. To the left wing. Outside Butler. To the middle. Here's Davis. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Time out, time out. That's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. And, and with a moment, let's check out the stats for Vucevic. He's been more than solid over the last month. 
He's averaging 14 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And what an impact he makes for them on that offensive. Right, he can do a little bit of everything for this team, and it shows when you look at the scoreboard. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And Davis puts it in. And Davis shoots a high percentage because he's so adept at playing to his strengths. Butler against Tatum. Passes it to Persingas. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. So it's the Celtics now. After the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. 14 feet away. Again, the Celtics good for two. Lakers leading by five. The pass to Butler. Out to the wing. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Lots of room. It's good. Now, this is why they call him the unicorn. Porzingis off the catch, ready to rise and fire. That's seven foot three, everybody. And that one's good, the two. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Celtics trail by six. Now Brown. He's got seven. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by, number one, improving his handle, and number two, becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. Now, here's Butler. Nothing on the board. And Davis can't get it to go. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Brown against Giddy. Fires from 14. Boston, no good that time either. Lakers leading by five. Butler passes to the dude. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now we know, Greg, trade talks have increased as we get closer to the deadline. So how does it affect the player when their name is mentioned in trade rumors? Hey, listen, it can rattle your confidence, and especially the first time it happens. But, Kevin, it's, it's important to remember that it's all business, and guys just can't take it personally. Here's Benton. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Porzingis finds Vucevic. Five to shoot. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Los Angeles has gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. And Crowder slams it in. Boy, I love the strong finish from Jay Crowder. He doesn't settle on the layup, demonstrates his impressive vertical. Here's Panton, Giddy defending. Brown the pass to Persingas, and the dunk by Persingas. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. The dude missing. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Unselfishness. This can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Pass to the dude. For the three. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got rebound number five here tonight. Round against Giddy. Porzingis inside. One of the defendable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy. Well, 
Last game for Boston, they pick up the W against Houston. We've got Gordon. Gabe Vincent is out there with the dude. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Harrell in at the five down low. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. The three is drilled by Tatum. Watch out. Tatum's going to stretch the defense all over the place if he's knocking down threes from the corner. The two, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Over to the wing, and here's Outlaw from the arc. The dude grabs the miss. The dude's got his fourth rebound in this one. Takes a three, hands it from downtown. The dude's got 10 points in the game. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often, and of course, he makes good use of it. Back to Tatum. And it's off from three-point range. Lakers leading by six. Gordon, the pass to the dude. The Lakers moving the ball around. Here's the three. And another three for the Lakers. And he's on a good pace here from three-point range. Made one in the first, two more here in the second. <laughs> it seems like with more to come. The Celtics have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. They set the pick. Pass to Barton. Pass to Pritchard. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. Rebound the Lakers. The dude's got six rebounds here tonight. Inside. And Harrell's it in. So many of Montrez Harrell's buckets come right at the cup. He is so powerful. Pritchard passes to Outlaw. Carroll against Tatum. Stewart, a screen for Tatum. Tatum pulling out one of his many moves. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Here's the dude. He's got 13. A three-pointer is right on target. The dude's got the lead up to 12 now for the Lakers. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the dude in the last outing against the Magic put on a performance. He scored an amazing number of points, and he did a little bit of everything for them in that one, adding a triple-double in the process. He ended up with a stat line he's no doubt proud of, and I'm sure he wants to replicate it again. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. And the Celtics making a change here. Brissett's checked in, tries the spin move. Tatum kicks to Outlaw. Here's Pritchard, defended by Gordon. Tatum wide open, he fires one. They shoot again. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Stewart. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Here's Pritchard, defended by Vincent. Here's Pritchard. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Houston. Boston needs to get off a shot for three. Outlaw. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's the dude. And another three for the Lakers. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this one. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems as if those threes just started to fall like raindrops. Here's Pritchard. The kick out to Tatum. No good on the three. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 20 to 6 run. Here's the dude. Well, good with the triple. Not quite enough defense 
That time around, just lucky he was off. And here's Tatum for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Here's the dude. 25 points in the game. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The dude's got 28. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Here's Pritchard, defended by Vincent. And the pass to Stewart. Here's Pritchard, cuts off the pass. And now, here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. Here's the dude, and another three for the Lakers. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes? The defense is just giving up a barrage. Pass to Brissett. And here's Tatum for three. And Davis pulls it down. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. The dude, and again for three, buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. A difficult situation for Boston. And so Boston again turning it over. And here's what the schedule for the Lakers looks like. On Sunday, they'll be facing Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. You know, most teams might get worried at a long road schedule like this one, but they've been so good away from home. I think they might be looking forward to it. You have to respect what this team can do when they're in your building. The three from Tatum. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. Jason Tatum is a thirsty scorer. And right now, filling it up. Here's the dude. Second chance shot. And he gets the bucket. Hill's got four points this quarter. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. Come get it, come get it. Here's Tatum. And the rejection by Harold. Passes to the dude. Let's the free fly. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And what a first half he's having from downtown. He has been locked and loaded since the time moment out, he out. stepped on the floor. After seven years with Houston, Eric Gordon traded away during the 2023 season. Well, Kev, when you look back at that Houston time period, only James Harden made more threes in that particular uniform. Gordon was one of the keys on those 50-60 win teams. Eric will always have a place in the Rockets' lore. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Green, he's checked in for Harrell. Green comes in for Anthony Davis. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. And Josh Giddy subbed in for Vincent. Here's the dude. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Brown. Here's the pass to Vucevic. Here's Banton. There's the triple. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Here's the dude. 37 points for him. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. The dude's got 39. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Good, as Green picking up the assist. 41 points for the dude. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. On offense, here are the Celtics. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up.
I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. Shot up two there. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Round with it. Butler covering and stolen by Butler. And here we go. Butler heading to the hoop. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. From past the arc. Connects again from distance. He's really sniping them from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Manton, the pass to Outlaw. Pass to Vucevic. Vucevic gets double team. Six to shoot. Brown, the pass to Persingas. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Porzingis has got nine. Well, the unicorn, Mr. Porzingis, the answer from three, his specialty. The dude misses. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. Fires the three. No good on that one. Boston shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. Manton, the pass to Vucevic. Over Green. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got his second bucket of the night. Well, Vucevic understands that the mid-range is a part of his game that he can go to at any point. The two. And again, no good by the Lakers. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Brown wide open, he fires. It's rebounded by Giddy. Well, I'll tell you what, he's gonna buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. 46 seconds left in the first half. Here's Brown from 13 feet. It goes down. Brown's got five points in the quarter. Well, you have to love how Jalen Brown keeps his attention on the rim. He doesn't let the defense change his shot. Good on the three-point shot. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Manton, the pass to Outlaw. Brown outside. That doesn't go either for Brown. Yeah, and, and that three-point shot, it really has looked awful here in the second quarter. It hasn't stopped him from attempting them, but it's time to maybe find something else to do. Oh, great ball movement there. Three-pointer. The dude grabs the miss. The dude's got nine rebounds now tonight. Down low. Ah, another one goes. Incredible. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. Well, Jalen Brown has proven himself a legit three-point threat. Now you've got to step out even farther. That's a big-time deep ball. And prepare for Red Panda. Going forward, a few struggling teams are hoping their stars will step up. I felt like I played my best, you know, when a team... Now let's talk about that first half. It's been a runaway success for the Los Angeles Lakers. I think that'll do it for our show. And so it's Los Angeles out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. And if he can keep shooting from deep, like he did in the first half. He's going to be 
more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy, ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. The forwards for him, Tatum and Porzingis. And it's Vucevic. Then there's Jalen Brown. And it's Banton and at the point. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? Yeah, you know, his passion, DA, for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Well, size and skill. Tatum on the interior? Yes, sir. To the middle. And finished off by Davis. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Butler against Tatum. Brown outside. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, and they show effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Hits it again. Wow. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Finished off by Brown. The passing, the shooting, the scoring, it's all clicking right now for Jalen Brown. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Good! Another from three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Unloads from nine. Connects the jumper drops. Brown's got four points this quarter. Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. No problem. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. From deep. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Still looking for his first triple of the half. He had three at the break. The dude passes to Butler. Fires for three, and again it's the Lakers from deep. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. The Celtics have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. With the step back. Tatum against Butler. Brown outside. And he's good on the three ball. Brown's got 25 points. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but break the versatility at, at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. Outside Tatum. Brzingis feeling it out a bit. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his third assist on the night. When Porzingis is knocking down that three-point shot consistently, it opens up other aspects of his game. And that one's good, the two. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And yep, another basket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Passes it to Banton. No good on the triple. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Here's Tatum. They can't stop the run with that one. 
This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. Giddy, no good. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Tatum. Tight defense on him. Baseline jumper. And he overshot that one, missing. Just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. <laughs> what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Austin making a switch here. Outlaws checked in. Yeah, Jalen Brown so quick off his feet. What a vertical threat he is. And the shot's good from Crowder. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Pass to Outlaw. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Substitution on the court. Well, the Celtics shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. We've got Montrez Harrell. Jamichael Green is out there with the dude. Then it's Vincent. And it's Hood Shafino in at the shooting guard. That's the Laker five. The Lakers on offense. To the paint. Here's Vincent. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Vincent's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Lakers. Tatum looking around. The pass to Barton. Back to Tatum. Jacks up a three. And Hood Shafino pulls it down. Here's the dude. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Boston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Dishes to Outlaw. The Celtics working the ball around now. And Tatum the bucket on the assist from Outlaw. Tatum's got 29. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance this half. Five overall. Here's the dude. And good! There's another. 81 on the night. Channeling his inner Mamba right now. <laughs> There's, there is no slowing this guy down. He is on fire. The kick out to Tatum. And the Celtics another three. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Here's the dude. Connects again from distance. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Outside Tatum. And he gets it to go. Tatum's got 34. Well, this guy is used to scoring in tight situations with bodies around him. How about Jason Tatum maintaining his concentration? Boston's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Pass to Pritchard. The three ball. The dude grabs the miss. The dude's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. For the three. Connects from three-point range. All night. He just won't let up. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Outlaw the pass to Parker. And here's Tatum for three. And the three ball is good. Tatum's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. And Tatum over to help. 
The dude passes to Vincent. They get it again. Here's Harrell. Here's the dude. Out left of the wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hood, Shafino. Here's the dude. Offline with his three. For Boston, they've gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Here's Pritchard. Out the basket. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Here's the dude. Connects again. 90. A legendary performance. We'll be talking about this one, Greg, for a long, long time. Here's Pritchard, defended by Vincent. Tatum, no good. Lakers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Here's Hood oh. Ooh, a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. And here's Tatum for three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Harrell's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. To the inside, here's Hood Shafino. With the second effort, battles through traffic and lays it in. And, and, and being taller than most point guards, he, he puts that length to use. Example A right there. Tatum's shot is off. Lakers have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Vincent the pass to Green. Down low, here's Hood Shafino. The rebound by the Celtics. And here's Tatum for three. Green with the rebound. L.A. has got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. And Los Angeles with some changes. Washington's checked in for Harrell, and it's Green in for Jermichael Green. Brissett has checked in for the Celtics. Delano Benton comes in for Pritchard. The offensive rebound, Stewart. That one's off, still out of sync. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Up again, and Green is right there. Green's got his first bucket in this one. What an effort to get the tip in, just wanting it a little bit more. Benton, the pass to Tatum. Over to the left wing. Banton's shot is off. Lakers have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. To the left wing, here's the dude, and again for three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Passes it to Outlaw. Here's Brissett. The pass to Banton. The kick out to Tatum. It's good from long range. Tatum's got 40 points. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And Los Angeles with some changes. Harrell comes in for Washington. And Gordon subbed in for Vincent. Spins. And the dunk by Brown. Did you just see uh, wow. what I saw? I mean, that <laughs> move was out of this world. Executed don't you think, to perfection, Greg. I mean, he had the rim in his sights and was not going to be stopped. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Plays it up and banks it in. 33 points for Jalen Brown. Well, I'll tell you what, speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. Took him no time at all on that one. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Manton, the pass to Brown. The three from Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Back to Gordon. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Here's the dude. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Boston shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. Manton, the pass to Persingas. And here is Tatum. 
There's the triple, and again, Boston with the triple. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. It's stolen by Bucevic. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. A second chance effort. Green with the block. Pass to the dude. Inside, here's Gordon. Rebound, Boston. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Banton, and play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal swing. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Washington comes in for Harrell, and it's Gabe Vincent in for Gordon. The three from Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Pushing it up. Here's Benton. And Vucevic throws it down. This guy, a strong rebounder who uses his frame well. Vucevic has a knack for being in the right spot. Here's the dude. Another bucket. Wow. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Crafty move. And it's Brown missing. The Lakers shooting 55% in the fourth. They are executing late. Back to Green. And he uses the glass on the late. Green's got four points in the quarter. And they know for next time, don't let him establish position down low. Coaches call that doing your work early. If you are there defensively, it really does not allow for him to establish that kind of excellent positioning down low. Brown, good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fifth assist in this one. Now, Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Pass to Benton, back to Tatum. Green with the rebound. Here's the dude from past the arc. And again, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Passes it to Brown. And finished off by Brown. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. And Green slams it in. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. He may not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way, because hoisting from three is not the answer. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And on the air, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for the dude. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. And the best of the dude. Here's the Javino. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. The wide open look here for Perzingis. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to the dude. To the paint. Here's Vincent. Up and in on the way. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Here's Banton. 
So it's Ross.